better side maybe even than Salford. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah. I'm not. So so I, I just think Lee are gonna gonna win this one at home. They're in great form. Also on Friday night, 7:45, two Super League sides face off: Huddersfield versus Wakefield. Uh, this will be Simon Wolford's first game officially in charge. I think. What do you think will happen? Yeah, look, I. <sighs> As, as much as that that's great for him moving forward, I just think Wakey are going to have too much. They, they seem to have got some players back and a couple of players fighting posi- for position. They, they've got some good squad, squad depth at Wakey. I think Wakey will have too much room. Yeah, I think my uh, I think the home side will win. I think the you know they'll want to. It's not like they can do anything with a team selection or anything like that because they ain't got anyone to pick anyway. Uh, Huddersfield yeah. with with what what's been going on there, so I think um, they'll run with a similar if side to last week. Maybe Danny Bruff might get a sneak back in, but um, mm. I wonder if Wakefield might not play a couple of the players. Uh, Fafita, whilst he came back, didn't do loads of minutes, and I don't think he's I think he's working his way back to fitness rather than being fully fit. I just wonder if they might not prioritise. Mm other games for, for people like him and use that squat depth but that will weaken them on the field um, so I think Huddersfield will win in this one okay. uh, Friday night 8pm it's Witness versus Leeds so your Leeds Rhinos I, I can't yes, see indeed. anything other than Leeds winning against a, a depleted and uh, Witness side I mean the 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 speech Betts gave up after the game, slagging them all off, is obviously intended to cause a bit of a, a stir and a kick up the arse that some of his yeah. players maybe have needed because he's done nothing but been like kind about them until this point. But um, I, I still don't think they'll be good enough to beat your lead side. Yeah, look, I'll be frankly honest. At this point in the season, I'm more concerned about the pitch than I am the result. I just don't want to lose any players to injury, and I know it can we can sort of typecast that, that pitch a little bit but um, it's always tight for us at Widness I think it's going to be tight I don't think it's going to be that much in it Leeds might get a little, away a little bit at the end if if we, we can put out a strong team but I'm just more concerned about getting through it without losing anybody for months Fair enough basically. On Saturday probably the tie of the round really um, mm-hmm. it would have been if Castleford hadn't had the recent injury blows certainly 2.30pm on BBC down at Weldon Road it's Castleford versus St Helens and I think the fact that Saints don't have any major injury injury worries with Roby back in the in the side and Barber should be playing in this one as well. Whereas Castleford really do have a lot of question marks on on selection, particularly in the backs and the halves. I've got Saints winning this one. They're, they're too good for Cass anyway at the moment, and and without Gale, without um, Roberts, I think it's going to be even even nasty. I think Saints by three clear scores. I, I think Saints. I'm not quite sure of the margin. It's the cup. Anything can happen. But I think I think Saints will get home. Also, at the same time, we've got um, Catalan's uh, Super League's bottom club, Catalan, playing against the lowest ranked team left in the competition, Whitehaven, the only League One side on Saturday, 2:30 p.m. UK time. I think so. That makes it 3:30 Catalan time. Uh, at, look, I'll always go Super League over League One, even though funny things can happen yeah. sometimes. Yeah, and same with the York. You know, York put up a spirited effort um, at the state, uh, in the last round, yeah. and, and I think it's we'll see a spirited effort, but it's not going to be enough to get anywhere near a professional team at, at this point. Nope. On Sunday, BBC's fixture is an interesting one. It's at 3:30 p.m. kickoff. Toronto versus Warrington. It's played at Warrington, though, of course. And I, well, I think the home side will have enough. But uh, what do you think? <laughs> Yeah, surprisingly. Look, I'm a bit of a romantic and I ain't got a down on Warrington in any way whatsoever. I just think this is a really important game um, for moving forward for, for the Wolfpack. And, uh, I, you know, I think maybe more of a romantic in me, you know, maybe thinks that, you know, if they can jag a win, this would put them really in a, in a great platform. You know, playing on the Beeb, there'll be a lot of hype. And I know they can't just walk into the dressing room and go, win it today, guys. This will be great for the marketing department. But I think as a club, they might want to really make a statement. Uh, it's, the, it's the first shot at the big time, so to speak. And I think, it, you know, I'm going to go to Toronto, just just the romantic in me. Fair enough. Um, Sunday at 3.30 as well, it's Hulk KR versus Wigan. And um, I, I'm not hugely confident for this one I, d- I don't know why I'm, I'm not making the trip over I don't think uh, it's, not, it's not in the plan because I, I need to save some money and uh, goodwill at home for the rest of the month <laughs> really I know that yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't think I'll be going to this one but I still think mm. I'd still tip Wigan to win but I'm, I'm not 
we have we've had, had some really good big wins against OKR in in recent years, but not in the cup. And I, I still think we'll win though. Yeah, I'll go Wigan. Good stuff. Okay, um, there are some catch-up games going on around the Championship League one still from the Beast from the East uh, called off fixtures in the earlier rounds. So there is a Championship game of the week to pick and a League One game of the week too. Barrow versus Dewsbury, they're two teams closely ranked together in the bottom half of the Championship table. And then League One, uh, Bradford versus London Scholars is a rearranged game. Um, and that's the pick of what there is out there in the NRL. Um there's the Warriors versus Rooster 6am on Sky. Storm versus Titans. Uh, Joe Green will probably will never play for the Titans again, seeing as they're trying to mm. hawk him around Super League clubs this week now. Yeah. That's Saturday at 8.30am on Sky 2. Um, sea Eagles versus Broncos. That finishes the Sky Live game Saturday 10.35am. And then... A uh, couple of games that actually involve British players to be interested in. Rabbit O's versus Dragons on Sunday at 5am and Raiders versus Sharks on Sunday at seven, uh, 10 past 7 if you've got the Watch NRL app. Or for you, Rich, just TV. <laughs> That's right, mate, yeah. Just an uh, afternoon in front of the... The TV with beers, essentially. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay, um, so that's pretty much everything from around the world of Rugby League covered. Uh reviewed and previewed and all of that so we're now just gonna have some fun wrapping up the show with a bit of a, a quiz right so it's the it's the wrap up of episode 180 uh, it's quiz time and i've got a, a little bit of a quiz for you rich to celebrate that you're a leeds fan who lives down under i'm gonna yes. quiz you about some leeds players who are from down under uh, I, I think you'll i think you'll smash this uh other <laughs> listeners might i might have a more difficult job on the hands maybe but i think you'll smash this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through i've got five players uh, I'm going to list the major finals that they won with Leeds and then I'm going to list the teams that they played for down under and all you have to guess, uh, do is guess the player name really um, okay. so uh, hopefully it's not too too challenging when I, when I thought this one up I did have a few really difficult names but hopefully the first four are gettable for good quality Leeds fans and then someone like you who knows everything about the in, ins and outs of the club <laughs> you set me up for a massive fall here right? <laughs> well you've got a quiz yeah. for me to come back at me with so so I feel uh, like I have to yeah. make, make, make put you under pressure first okay the first one um, for Leeds this player won the 2007 grand final the 2008 World Club Challenge, the 2008 Grand Final, and the 2009 Grand Final. Okay, in his Australian career, he played four times for North Queensland, 21 times for Parramatta, and 68 times for Manly. He played wing. Who is this chap? Scott Donald. Nice dramatic pause there for the listeners, and then nailed it. <laughs> Good stuff. Okay. Uh, for Leeds, he won the 2004 Grand Final and the 2005 World Club Challenge. In Australia, he played two times for Auckland, 16 times for North Queensland, 13 times for Hunter in the Super League year, and four times for St. George. So not a huge career down under. He played back row. Ooh... Can I just have a... Give me the, the Aussie teams again. Sorry. Uh, twice for Auckland Warriors, 16 times for North Queensland, 13 times for Hunter in the Super League, and four times for St. George. Oh, Chris McKenna? No. Not Chris oh. McKenna. Do you want another guess, or do you want, do you want the answer? Uh, If it helps, I'll go. I mentioned him earlier in Willie the Willie Yeah, yeah. Willie Poaching. <laughs> Good stuff. I'll give you half a mark on that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, for Leeds, he's won the 2011 Grand Final, the 2012 World Club Challenge, the 2012 Grand Final, the 2014 Challenge Cup Final, 2015 Challenge Cup Final, and the 2015 Grand Final. So he's the most decorated player on, on this list. In Australia, he played 18 times for Parramatta 
and 16, 63 times for the Gold Coast Titans. He plays... Brett Delaney. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no pause for the listeners there. <laughs> sorry, sorry, <laughs> listeners. Sorry. <laughs> no, I, I get excited and don't leave a pause either. Yeah. Um, okay, for Leeds... He won the 2004 Grand Final and the 2005 World Club Challenge. In Australia, he played 18 times for the Gold Coast Chargers and 145 times for Melbourne. He's a winger. Oh, you said he won the 04 Grand Final, yeah? Yep. But Marcus by. Yep. He also... Uh, did, he, did he beat you in a final as well for Bradford? Did he play in that final in the 2005? Six, no, I don't think. 2005, yeah. I think he did. No, 2005 grand we, didn't, final, yeah. we didn't get to the 2005 grand final. Libre has knocked us out in 2006 with a John goal at Edinburgh. Ah, okay. <laughs> um, for, right, final one. This is the, to be honest, I would have no chance of getting this one myself. Uh, for Leeds, mm. he won the 1999 Challenge Cup final. In Australia, he played nine times for St George and 188 times for Newcastle. He played loose forward. Oh. <laughs> Mark Glanville. Yes. Impressive. Yeah. Four and a half out of five. Well done, Rich. That's really impressive. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Thank you. It's what I expected, <laughs> but I'm impressed all the same. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. so you have a quiz as that, well, do you? I do, yeah. So mine's going to flummox you, and this is completely centric about me in every way, shape, <laughs> and form. And this is to celebrate the 1988-89 season, the season Gary Schofield won his only domestic trophy, uh, which is the only true tro trophy in rugby league, which is the Yorkshire Cup. So, this is a bit of true or false, and who am I? So, yeah, so let's go for true or false, shall we? True or false, Mark. I, Richard Wilkinson, went to Wembley to see the mighty All-Stars of Wigan win the Challenge Cup in 1989. I, I was wearing my favourite Wigan players international jersey, who scored two tries on the day. I shit you not, I rode the Cherry and Whites home waving a Wigan flag... <laughs> with a Wigan merchandise flat cap on. <laughs> Is that true or false? Uh, so I went as a Wigan fan, as a little boy, and waved my flag hardcore and cheered for Wigan. So it's, it's 1989 Cup final. Is that true or false? Did, did I dress up like some Wigan twat and uh, ride your glorious Wigan home? I, like think, a I, think, I think 1989 you might have done. I'm gonna so go is it true or false? Well done, Mark. You get a point. I did, yeah. <laughs> I got wrapped up in the occasion. <laughs> so, well, I forget, so I forget the question... which was which. Which that nineteen eighty nine was um, Saint Helens. Yeah, that was. I thought that was nineteen ninety. Maybe I remember it as that, but the, I don't know. The, the... Anyway, it's a true story. So the next yeah. part of the question. I can't remember. I, it was before my time so, these times. So I know it. Yeah. I know it is. So yeah. I'm going to make them really, really easy for you. So, to my favourite Wigan player of the time, who am I? Okay, I'm probably best remembered uh, taking centre stage as a Wigan superstar, where I started my professional queer uh, career. <laughs> but I actually played more time for Le more times for Leeds, who I represented more than any other club I played for. Uh, and if you go back to the first clue, we scored two tries that day. No, I know. Yeah, that's um, that's the bit that I'm trying to work out. I have a feeling it was. Did he then play for Saints after you? Well, we haven't moved on to the next clue yet, have we? Mark? <laughs> it's Iro, isn't it? It's Kevin Iro. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> the Beast. Yeah. My final, yeah, my final clue was he was known as the Beast in a Quite rampage. A few of that team. Quite a few of that, that era play, ended up playing for Leeds, didn't they, though? They did. Uh, uh, Andy Goodway. Yeah, Wayne and one of those Hanley as well. As well. Wayne. Yeah, yeah, Hanley, obviously, yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> absolutely. Good stuff, yes. There you go. So I don't know how many points you get. It's just for fun. Right, so on to the next one. Let's have a look. So, 
let me move down. Ah, 